Where's my potatoes? All served up. Hi everybody. Um, I went to the cupboard and I've got two slices of bread left and I thought, oh, what a pain in the neck. So I did look at, look in my cupboard and see if I've got any, um, you know, chuck in a bowl, add water, make your own bread type of thing. I do, I have made bread for years, well, it's been a while. In fact, if anyone remembers, do you remember in lockdown, uh, bread making, people were going crazy for it. And I, I was just the same as everyone else. And getting hold of yeast was really difficult. Um, yeah, so I've made a lot of bread during lock lockdown. Obviously, I didn't have a ninja then, so this I'm going to be cooking this in the ninja. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get to it. This is it. Um, I'll show you the uh, what, what it is basically. So it's a premium white bread mix, and you just basically add water because it's obviously got uh, the yeast already added. Um, I'll just read it. Hold on. Need my glasses. Bear with, bear with. So it says, and obviously it doesn't mention air fryer. <laughs> uh, place bread mix in a bowl or food mixer. Add water and mix together for five minutes to form a ball, ball of dough. Place the dough on a flour surface and leave for five minutes. Knead and stretch for two minutes. Mold into a ball, rest for five minutes. And then shape the dough and place on a greased, brew, uh, greased baking tray or into a large two pound loaf tin. Well, we have two one pound tins. Perfect, because you can have one in each drawer. Uh, cover with a damp cloth or a loose cling film and leave to rise in a warm place for 30 to 40 minutes. Now I've done a bit of research, air fryer research, and um, some people I've read have basically turned their ninja on bake for 10 minutes without anything in it. And they obviously get everything ready and then when um, the 10 minutes are up and they've got their pre-proved if you like a uh, dough in a prepared tin they let, let it sit in there for 10 minutes so we're going to try that see if that works um i have no idea about times i've got a rough idea because i have done the research so hopefully that will all work you'll be with me see how it all turns out at the end hopefully hopefully you'll be with me <laughs> so yes let's get to it see you in a bit so I forgot to mention this cost me about one pound twenty five, um, and I got it from Sainsbury's, the large Sainsbury's that's near me. Uh, a little, I struggle to get this sort of thing. I don't know if if Audi sell this because I haven't actually checked. So if you know that Audi do these sort of things, that's great. I probably will try the old fashioned method of you adding yeast on another go on another day because I'm quite interested to because I've got yeast in the cupboard. But I, since I had this, I thought I'd give it a go. So I'm going to add this to the bowl. I've got the warm 320 grams of water. So let's let's mix. Spung it all in. Gonna be a messy job. It says to knead, form a dough um, in the bowl for five minutes, you know, like. I think I've only been doing it a few minutes. We're getting there though. Something quite therapeutic about mucking around with dough. It smells nice. I do love, I mean, who, bread. Love bread. Or anything bready. 
I'm not sure it loves me. <laughs> a pretty good dough I think I'm gonna wash my hands and then lay it out on a floured surface see what the next stage is back in a tick lightly flour the surface and stick Ooh. hold on spread it about a bit there we go dough I'm gonna need it for a few more minutes and let it rest for five just because the bowl only gives you so much kneading room it's still nice and warm which is good so the package says uh place the dough onto a flour surface and leave for five minutes rest dough I will be back in five. In the meantime, I will, um, I've already buttered and I'm going to sort of lightly flour. Hopefully that will do the trick. And while that's re the dough's resting, I'm just going to scatter a bit of flour. It's been so long since I've done this, I've kind of half forgotten and I'm not too sure if I'm doing the right thing. But hey ho, it's all part of the process of fun of cooking. Wash my hands. Right. Um, while that's resting, let's get the ninja room. I'll pull it out on the bake setting to warm it up so I can prove uh, the loaf tins inside with the ninja turned off. So match. Bake. 10 minutes. I'm just going to let it run. Check that the crisper plates are in. I need them. go see you in a bit or is it that way see you in a bit don't it to be an upside down thumb upside the right way back see you in a bit so the ninja's still on preheating if you like um, so I'm going to carry on kneading the dough while that's preheating and it helps me time the bread actually the kneading Get your sleeves out of the way. A bit more flour. A bit more flour again. Don't add too much because it's all to dry it out. Right, let's divide it in half and add it to the loaf tins. Need a knife. Plonk it in. Ooh, plonked, plonked in. Right, cling film. I've got to oil a bit of cling film and have it loosely covered. But this is what I do. Do you see the tab still there? And I use kind of something like this. And it makes those little holes 
so that when you um, dispense your olive oil, it's really con you can really control it. Very useful, it makes the whole thing last. So it's loosely cover. So hopefully it rises, because you never know, it might not. Let's hope not. It stops the uh, dough from drying out. I'll be putting it in an injure in a minute, just waiting for that to preheat. It's finished preheating. So that's uh, the ninja's preheated, it's warm inside. Um, the loaves are loosely covered with oiled cling film. It says here to um, leave in a warm place for 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm gonna walk Rosie whilst uh, these are hopefully expanding in size. So let's put them in. I'm gonna use my, uh, I'm hoping this will work. I'm gonna cling film slightly in the way, but the ninja's hot, so ooh, that's uh, oh, jeez, oh, <laughs> don't do that. Help, my lord. I hope the cling film doesn't melt. It shouldn't do because it doesn't feel boiling. It preheated on a bake setting for roughly around eight minutes because I became impatient. All right, let's try that again without banging the ninja. All right, it's, it's control of the good this. Well, that's good. That's good. Right. I'm going to leave these in here for half an hour while I go walk Rosie. Let's see what she thinks of it. Rosie? Want to go for a walk? Come. Want to go for a walk? Come on then. See you in a bit. So back from the walk with Rosie uh, and I haven't had a look. So we're going to look together. So here goes. Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus, oh, that, oh my God, I think the cling film might stick to that, even though I've oiled it. I've had, yeah, I've had memories of it sticking. So let's, I'm gonna leave them in there. So let's try and extract. Holy Moses, look at that. Oh. So that came off actually okay. Let's hope the second one does. It's still warm inside, that's really good. Oh God, it's <laughs> crazy. Never expected it to be so expanded. Right, let's go put them back in really carefully. I don't know why I'm talking quietly, but it's as if it's going to disturb them. Mm. Stick it in. Oh God, I'm, I'm going to hold on to it when I shut the drawer because I don't want to knock any air out. Okay, carefully shut. Right. Pull it forward. And um, let's have a look. So, match, bake, half an hour. It says half an hour on here, uh, but obviously in an oven at a higher temperature, but I'm gonna go with the that temperature and we'll just have to hopefully, ah, uh, I, don't, I don't know. This is all new. I don't know whether to raise that maybe. 180 because it says 230 where's my glasses um hold on let's just read it here so it says for the oven 230 oh sorry yeah 230 or 210 um or if you're you know overseas it's 450 or 410 um or gas mark eight for 30 to 40 minutes uh, do I put it on something like that? Should I? Oh, oh God. Compromise and stick it on 200. Right. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. 180. Let's go. See you in half an hour. It's um, smelling lovely in here, but I'm panicking that I think I might have burnt the top. I haven't looked inside. I've got 37 minutes. I'm just going to go and have a look because I'm I'm freaking out. <laughs> oh man, like oh, oh my god, that is. A... I think that's kind of well done. That's going to be a crusty top. Oh, let's have a look at the other one. Holy Moses! I think I could have done with. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's really well cooked. Holy Moses! Right, let's get it out. This is going to be interesting to see if this gripper works. 
All right, how am I going to do this? Oh, okay. I'll kind of get it in there. <laughs> don't know if this is going to work. Oh, that's quite good. These are well cooked. Oh, let's try and sit it on that. These are good, these gripper things, I have to say. Perhaps it should have been, I should have done it on 160. You know, I, I upped it to 100. And, oh, man, it's a bit fiddly. Come on. Come on. Help. I'm not doing so well on this one. Right, I'm going to put you down. Excuse me. Put you down. You can gaze at the burnt bread. Oh! <laughs> okay, let's uh, put that like that. And I'm just going to use a trusty tea towel. Whoa, that's hot. Oh. Right. Oh my God, they are well cooked. I maybe should have done 160. This is okay though, we will learn. Uh, 160 I'd recommend. I, I mean, the proof is in the pudding when I cut it, it just might be a very crusty. So I'm definitely gonna um, cut this as soon as it's cooled down. Um, cut them, I'm gonna get them out of the tin. Uh, I need a tea towel, because it's just too hot. Let's see, I forget, I bet it just lifts out. Whoa, well oh, that's that looks good. On the underside. Can you hear that? I think that's cooked. I mean, that's that's okay. <laughs> I don't know. It could be worse. Oh, Jesus, that's hot. All right, excuse my tea towel. It's very old. It's clean. <laughs> it just doesn't look it. Right, mm, have a good look. Mm, let's have a look at the underside. Yeah, I, 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 this is okay. I'm going to let this cool and we're going to come back for a butter bread taste test. Oh, even though the top's like, whoa, I think because it's an air fry, it cooks from the top, doesn't it? So I definitely would do it at 160 for 30 minutes next time. And I definitely will make some more bread. I love homemade bread. It's been, it's been since lockdown. It's the last time I made it. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. So... All right, everybody, um, Jimmy's holding the camera. He's my cameraman at the moment because we're going to go in and cut. <laughs> I think it's going to take some sawing. Hold the, hold the camera steady, Jimmy. Okay. Right. I think you need a saw. That <laughs> <laughs> sounds like wood. <laughs> Let's have a look at the inside, though. Ooh. Hold on a minute. Let's just, yeah, that's it. Let's get some light. Well, that's soft and fluffy. Paul Hollywood would be horrified at the outside, but not the inside. <laughs> that that looks great. So we're going to taste test. I'm going to cut you a slice, Jim, so you can taste test as well. Yeah. But boy, that really does sound like you're sawing wood. <laughs> but yeah, apart from the top, the rest is perfect. Come on, let me butter this and then I can give you yours. And you can have, you don't have to have the end. I'm, I'm, Let's cut this in half, actually. Keep keep that steady. Oh, I was just going to say, I'm buttering with Dan Pack. Cheaper than Lure Pack. You don't need a second mortgage to have some very nice butter. Right. Okay, Jim, I'll have the yeah. camera. You try that. Tell me what you think. And I'm taste testing this as well. So hold on, excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. Mmm. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Very, very good. Oh. It's got a nice mm. crunch. It's crunchy. <laughs> That's quite nice though, isn't it? Excuse me. So there's a little bit of butter hanging off that, but the bread itself is really good. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Mmm. 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 <laughs> You do need to have good teeth for the crust. Mm. 
Oh, da. Oh, ja. Right. Let's have a close look. Nice. Right. Well, you definitely need some strong teeth for the top, but that's well, that's definitely edible bread. <laughs> really tasty, and with good butter, and it was warm as well. Obviously, because it it hasn't been long cooked, but there's nothing like freshly baked warm bread. So I'm going to cut some more. I haven't had breakfast yet, so this would actually be quite a handy brunch. Hmm. Yeah, thank you for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Oh. You're all right, Jim. Thanks for being a cameraman. I think we've already managed to demolish half of the loaf. It's not lasted long. It's got. It's lovely. Mm. Sorry, I have to come back and show you. Look. <laughs> It doesn't take long for these things to get demolished and Jimmy loved it. Thanks again. Bye.